hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to be making a tutorial on how to cut and seal a corset there are different methods of making a corset but this method is probably the one of the easiest method of making corsets To start with, we are going to insert our basic bodice measurements, which is our bust points, our under bust, and our waist measurements. For this tutorial, we are using bust points of 10 inches, under bust of 13 inches, and waist of 16 inches. Then after that, we are going to measure our back measurements, which is seven and a half inches. Then at that point, you come down by one inch, which is our shoulder slope. Then we'll connect it to your shoulder with a straight ruler. After connecting it, we measure our armhole length. And for this tutorial, we are using 8 inches. Then we make it into a straight line. And that is going to be our chest line. Then we are going to label each line so we can know what each line stands for. And after that, we are going to insert our nipple to nipple measurements divided by 2. And for this tutorial, the nipple to nipple measurement is 7 divided by 2, that's 3 and a half inches. And we are going to insert that on each line on our pattern paper. Then we'll connect it together with a straight ruler. After that, we are going to measure the distance between the bust point and the under bust, and we are going to measure it round. And for this, you see that the distance between the bust point and the under bust is 3 inches. So we are going to measure 3 inches round to form a circle around the bust point. So the next thing that we are going to do is to go to our waistline on that nipple to nipple measurements. So we place our tape on it and measure one inch on the other side and one inch on this side. Then we do we repeat the same on the under bust and connect it together with a straight ruler. After that, the next thing we are going to do is on our bust points, we come down by one inch and we go up by one inch again. So at that point that we came down by one inch, we are going to curve it down to that um, line that we made on the under bust. If you don't have an ammo curve, you can use your free hand to make this curve. So we repeat the curve again on the other side of the line. The next thing we are going to do is to extend our nipple to nipple line down to that circle at the top. That circle that we made by differences between the bust and the under bust. So on that circle again, we are going to repeat that one hinge on both side measurements. So we repeat that again. After that, remember we came up by one hinge that time. So that one inch that we came up with, we are going to curve it and connect it to that measurement that we made at the circle. So we are almost done with our corsets. Then on our chest line, we are going to measure like 0 0.75 
inches or maybe one inch depending on your preference so after measuring that we will connect it from that chest line straight to that line that we made on the under bust we connect it using a curve instead of a ruler so that will form one of our cups so after connecting that we are going to join the top part together so from the chest line down to the one hinge at that circle part we'll connect it again so we are done with that side on the other side we'll come out by half an inch because we have cut out some inches on this other side so our boobs will not bust out of our clothes we we'll come out by half an inch then we we'll connect it to the under busts so there's something i should have done at the beginning of this tutorial and that is for me a uh, arm hole so that's what we are going to do now we will measure the seven and a half inches that we measured on our shoulder we measure it on our chest line again then we we'll connect it together with a straight line then use a hammer curve to just form a curve on that line after that so at that 7.5 inches that we came out that we came down with we are going to connect our cup to it then we connect it again to the one hinge on the circle part so we are practically done with that the next thing is to insert our vertical measurements so we insert our busts our under bust measurements and our waist measurements We repeat our bust measurements on our chest line. So we've already inserted all our measurements now. The next thing we are going to do is to measure the all the things that all the measurements we are going to cut out, the distance between um the chest line, the space on the chest line, we had it to our measurements. The space that we left out on the under bust, that two inches, we had two inches to our under bust measurement. Then on our waistline as well, we left out two inches. So we are going to add it again to our measurements. Then after that, we are going to insert, we are going to add two two inches as our seam allowance on all our lines. So the next thing we are going to do is to form a curve from that uh, side of the cup down to a bust point so that the clothes will not just be summer body on the side. So we form that curve and we are practically done with our corset. The next thing we are going to do is to cut it out. But before we cut out our cups, we are going to use this as pattern to draw our back panel. So I've already placed it on my back panel. Then we leave out 2 inches as a zip allowance. Then I'm tracing out the measurements on the back pattern. So I'm tracing out the down parts, the side parts and everything like that. This will not be wasting our time to just to start measuring again on our back panel. So I will shift 
the front panel up a bit and use it to form a dart. Then the ammo curve again. I'm going to curve it. While doing this, you have to be careful. As you can see, my pattern paper was moving around. I'm supposed to pin it, but I don't know what I was thinking. So form your armhole. That's it. So we are done with that. So the next thing is to form our neckline. We connect from the armhole point down. Oh, sorry. From the armhole point down to the neckline to that part where we started our zip allowance so we are almost done the next thing is to form a dart line that we've already measured out and that's all with our back panel So the next thing is to cut it out. So that's that about the back panel. So we set it aside to continue with our front panel. So now we we'll cut out the cups and hold the Shall cut out everything, everything shall. <laughs> so make sure you are following the way I'm cutting it out so that you don't make a mistake. And be careful when you are cutting out the cup. You don't want to make a mistake while cutting this. So we are done with it. We have cut it out. So the next thing is I'm going to number it so that I will not make a mistake. So the side, the midpoint is one. One of the cup is two. Another cup is three. Then the side part is four. The reason for this numbering is so that we will not be making mistakes when we are sewing it. So I will not go and sew three while sewing four and all sorts of things like that. So we are done with that. So in my next video we are going to be making, we are going to be drafting this on a fabric and we are joining it together. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.